Hello and welcome back to Tales of Lumen. Today I want to talk about the crazy month that's coming up. The month of March 2014. Because man, I was looking over some of the things happening this month. And oh my goodness. We're in for a rough one. Just saying. So, a few of the things that are coming up over the next 30 days or so. Hearthstone is probably going to be launching. We got confirmation of that from a blue poster. Heroes of the Storm's Tech Alpha will be starting, like, really, really soon. Reaper of Souls is launching. That's closer to the end of the month, but it's happening. There are Wildstar Betas happening throughout this month. I may or may not be playing in them. I think I can actually mention that I am a beta tester. I'm not going to talk about how little I'm enjoying it, but there you go. Take from that what you will. Elder Scrolls Online is having another beta event, and Nero has been barking all morning long. I don't know. I suppose you could even count Elder Scrolls Online's launch as being in March, because the head start, if I'm not mistaken, does actually start at the end of March, and not in April. So there's that. Titanfall is launching, which is a game that I am interested in. I'm not sure if I'm going to buy it. I just don't know because it costs so much here. 600 Rand. <sighs> I realize that's probably the same as what you guys are paying for it. That's around, I don't know, 60, 70 dollars. Maybe a bit more. But with the inflation of the dollar, so with the Rand getting weaker towards the dollar, our games here are just getting more expensive. So it's kind of painful having to buy games. Anyway, and my t-shirts are going to start shipping tomorrow. That's a lot of stuff in just one month. And that's just some of it, as far as I can tell. I mean, there's a whole lot of other goodies happening too that you guys can no doubt tell me about. But I'm going to have to plan around some of this stuff because I promised Helene some time off. Time away from Twitter Time away from work, time away from recording, time away from all that stuff when Diablo launches so we can just play and enjoy it together, which sounds good. Sounds really good to me. So I might take a couple of days, like a couple, to just do that and enjoy it. And then once I've done that and enjoyed it, jump back into working and stuff and releasing Diablo videos. that will be great as well. I need to plan around the fact that the Heroes of the Storm Tech Alpha will be starting soon. I need to start making hard drive space on my PC. And my hard drive is slightly, let's just say, congested at the moment because I recorded a ton of Elder Scrolls Online. You guys are going to see it spamming my channel over the next week or so. Because I want it out there before the next beta weekend starts up. So that I can, if I want to, record again. And that is going to largely depend upon how well or how badly the Elder Scrolls Online videos do on the channel. I think you guys might enjoy them. I honestly do because I played it sort of like I play Skyrim and the quests, the main story in the game, the world itself, the characters in the world, it's all rather enjoyable. You know, it's a pretty cool game as far as I can see. I actually pre-ordered the collector's edition of it. But I might cancel the pre-order before the game comes out and I will decide when the next beta weekend happens. So if I don't like what I see come the next beta weekend, I'm going to cancel it. And I will tell you right now, if they do not add an option to change the FOV, I'm cancelling it. There's no way I'm going to support a company that can't, after months of whining, do something as minor as that, and yes, you could say that it could mess stuff up with the UI or with the way the weapons are displayed in front of your character or whatever. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> I just don't. If they can't make something like that happen, make the game playable from first person point of view, then it's not for me, okay? Because if I'm going to be paying $15 a month or whatever that is, then I expect at least a little something something for that. We'll see. We'll see what happens, but FOV needs to be in the game. And I can tell you right now, 
as sort of an experienced gamer, I can tell you what the issue is. So, the way they've done it, first person view in Elder Scrolls Online, is they've zoomed the camera in to be like on your character's face, maybe just a bit lower, like on its chin or something. And those weapons that your character would be holding, like the shield or the sword or the bow, they don't get rendered just for first person view separately as they would be done in something like Skyrim or whatever. So in Elder Scrolls Online, they just zoom the character back, the camera back down, they put it right there in front of your character, and that's that. So I've seen a couple of times while playing that if you run and you stop quickly, then the chest of your character pushes through the camera. Now, if you think about them letting you increase the FOV, then you're gonna have your camera going into your character, and then you're gonna see like a whole bunch of clipping stuff there, and that will not work. So basically, they, let's just say, took a shortcut in the way that they did it, and they didn't make assets specifically for first-person mode. Which means that the chances are good I'm going to cancel my pre-order because it's a lot of money, and I don't see myself playing it if I don't enjoy it that much, and I wanted to play first-person. It's an Elder Scrolls game, for goodness sake. I don't care about the disadvantage of playing first person. I don't care. I want the advantage of having fun. Playing it the way I want to play it. That's supposed to be what Elder Scrolls is all about. And there are a few other small things that I feel they need to fix that would also be deal breakers for me. Exclusive full screen mode, a work in V-Sync, stuff like that. Pfft. Anyway. Those things left a bad taste in my mouth. But the game itself does seem pretty cool. And you will see, as I play through it, you'll see what I think, you'll hear what I think, you will get my general thoughts and impressions on it. And, I don't know. Then you can see if you agree or don't. Because there's some good and there's some bad. But it all does depend on what they do with the next big patch that they're going to release. So we'll see. Then... 50% experience bonus in Diablo at the moment. Pretty cool. I would love a couple of Paragon levels before, say, I don't know, the game launches and I start on my Monk. Because I'm going to be playing Monk when Reaper of Souls comes out. Helene is going to be playing Crusader. I'm going to play Monk. We're going to play together through the campaign from start to finish without recording it. I will be recording the footage. Okay, but I'm not going to do commentary over it. I'm going to be using Shadowplay to record all the footage from start to finish. And I'm going to see, you know, if I want to do something with that afterwards. But it would be great having a couple of Paragon points and levels by then. So hey, if you want to play Diablo, if you want to chat to me, whatever. I'm probably going to be online in Diablo 3 a little bit. Maybe every day, every second day for the next couple of weeks leading up to Reaper of Souls launch. I want to at least make a little bit of time for myself to play and enjoy it. <sighs> it's been difficult. I've been editing, 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 and I needed to recover after this weekend's recording because I literally recorded like probably 8 to 10 hours worth of Elder Scrolls Online over the weekend, if not more. Probably more if you include the character creation video. So it's madness. You're going to see, I'm guessing, somewhere in the vicinity of 15 to 20 videos for the game. Again, if not more. <sighs> but there you go. When Here Is The Storm starts up, I'm going to be doing stuff for that as well. Just because I've already done a shoutcast of it, which should actually be going live before this. I'm hoping to get it up before this. So you can let me know what you think of that. It's not professional in any way. I had no idea what was going on, but I had fun. And the game looks like fun, so hey, I'm keen for it. Then, Titanfall. I ordered Titanfall, then the website that I ordered it from said they didn't have stock anymore, they cancelled my order, so maybe that's a sign, maybe I shouldn't get it. I don't know. I'm interested in it, but at the same time, I might just not play it enough, because if I get access to Heroes of the Storm soon, if I get, you know, more incentive to play Hearthstone, Diablo 3, Elder Scrolls, Wildstar, all these other things that I don't currently need to pay for, if all of that is going to be filling up this month, Titanfall might not be worth it much as I want to 
put videos out for Titanfall. I don't think a lot of my audience wants to see that, but again, we'll see if that ends up happening or not closer to the time, but it is launching soon. So that's happening. Then the last thing that I wanted to talk about that's actually on my list here is the t-shirt thing. If you guys want t-shirts, there's a link below. You can check it out. They are apparently shipping tomorrow. So within the next week or so, I will probably have my shirt. I don't know how quickly it ships to US or to the EU or whatever, but I'm assuming faster than it would ship to South Africa. So there you go. If you want to support me like that, then do it. Feel free to do it. Have a look at the t-shirt. Order one if you want. If you don't, well, you can wait until I show it off in a video because that's going to happen as well. But I'm done. I'm finished for now. Whew. Hope you guys have been enjoying the content. Hope you guys are also keen for everything happening this month. And most importantly, I hope you're all having good days, good weeks, good months. Because that's important. So there you go. Give this video a like, share it, favorite it, subscribe if you haven't already, and do all that other good stuff. Happy that.